let's see if we can take what we learned about parallel and perpendicular lines and use it to solve some equations. Here we're asked to find the equation of a line parallel to the line 4x minus 5y is equal to negative 20 and that this new line passes through the point 0, 0. Well this is written in standard form. Let's write it in slope intercept form and try to get the slope. So we start with 4x minus 5y is equal to negative 20. I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. I'm going to get negative 5y is equal to negative 4x minus 20. Divide everything by negative 5. Get y by itself. And we got y is equal to 4 fifths x plus 4. Well now this is written in slope intercept form which is y is equal to mx plus b, where m is our slope. So our slope of this line here, 4x minus 5y minus 20, is 4 fifths. Well, if we want an equation of a line parallel to this line, that means our new line also has to have a slope of 4 fifths, because parallel lines have the same slope. Well, now that we have a slope and we know a point, let's use our point slope form equation to solve for the equation of our new line. Our point slope equation is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And we're going to plug in the 4 fifths for our slope, and then we're going to plug in this point 0, 0 for x1 and y1. So we'll get y minus 0 is equal to 4 fifths times x minus 0. And to simplify that, it'll be y is equal to 4 fifths x. So here is the equation of a line parallel to 4x minus 5y equal to negative 20. And this new line passes through the point 0, 0. Let's do one more problem. Here we're asked to find the equation of a line perpendicular to the line 4x minus 5y is equal to negative 20. And that this new line will pass through the point 1, 1. Well again, this is in standard form, so let's put it in slope intercept form so we can find our slope. So we get 4x minus 5y is equal to negative 20. Subtract 4x from both sides. We'll get negative 5y is equal to minus 4x minus 20. Again, I'm going to divide everything by negative 5. We're going to get y is equal to 4 fifths x plus 4. So we know our slope is 4 fifths for our first line. But the line that we're trying to find is perpendicular to this line. So we need to take the negative reciprocal of 4 fifths so if you have 4 fifths and you multiply it by negative 1, you'll get negative 4 fifths, and then take the reciprocal. So the slope of our perpendicular line will be negative 5 fourths. And again, you can check this. 4 fifths times negative 5 fourths equal to negative 20 over 20. So that goes to negative 1. Now we have our slope of our perpendicular line, and we have a point on our perpendicular line. So we're going to use our point slope formula, which is y is minus y1 is equal to m, or our slope, times x minus x1. And we're going to plug in 1, 1 for y1 and x1, and our slope of negative 5 fourths. So we're going to get y minus 1 is equal to negative 5 fourths times x minus 1. I'm going to move this 5 fourths inside the parentheses, so I have to distribute it. So I'm going to get y minus 1 is equal to negative 5 fourths x plus 5 fourths. Now I'm going to add 1 to both sides. And adding 1 is the same as adding 4 fourths. So we're going to end up with y is equal to negative 5 fourths x plus 9 fourths. So here's the equation of a line 
perpendicular to the line 4x minus 5y is equal to negative 20. So now let's try to equate what we've figured out about slopes with what we know about geometry. Here we're given four sides of a rectangle. And since it's a rectangle, that we know that all of these inside angles are right angles or equal to 90 degrees. And we can find the points or the coordinates for all these points. So A would be at negative 3, 3. B is at 0, 4. C is at 2, negative 2. And D is at negative 1, negative 3. Well, let's find the slope of our first line, AB. So let's find the slope of AB, and that's equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we'll call B1 and A2. So we'll end up with 3 minus 4 over negative 3 minus 0. We'll end up with negative 1 over negative 3. So our slope is 1 third for the line AB. And that makes sense because we have a rise of 1 and a run of 3. Well, let's look at the line BC and try to find that slope next. So we're looking for the slope of line BC. Now we know that line AB is perpendicular to line BC because this is a right angle. Well, if we know that it's perpendicular, we can just take the negative reciprocal of our slope of line AB. So if we do that, we have one third times negative one, so we'll get a negative one third. And then we swap our numerator and denominator and we'll end up with a slope of negative three. So the slope of the line BC is negative three. We can double check that by using the slope formula. So we end up with, we'll use C as 0.2 and B as 0.1. So we'll do negative 2 minus 4 over 2 minus 0. This is negative 6 over 2, so this would be a negative 3. So we know those are equal. Well, if we know the slope of line AB and we know the slope of line BC, because CD is a right angle, we know that CD is perpendicular to BC. And we also know that CD, because it's a rectangle, is parallel to AB. So if CD is parallel to AB, that means the slope of CD is equal to one third. And then lastly, we know that BC, because it's a rectangle, is parallel to AD. We know the slope of AD is equal to negative 3. And that completes the tutorial on parallel and perpendicular lines.